apartment. So it's the 27th of June, 2020. I don't know where the year is going. It's gonna be Christmas before we know it, we're halfway through the year. Uh, time does seem to be moving really quickly. Whether it's because of the lockdown, which is easing in the UK now, slightly. Um, although I'm not really doing anything different. I'm kind of adhering to the original lockdown rules as much as possible. Just because I don't feel the need to have to do anything else. I think that's the joy of having an allotment. You can uh, concentrate a lot of your time down here and to be fair, apart from being at home, there's nowhere on earth I'd rather be right now. So, so I have got a few jobs for the weekend that need doing. It's going to be weather permitting, I'm wearing a coat. Um, it's still quite warm, to be fair, although it's been quite thundery here in the northwest. So today's Saturday, so yesterday, Friday, I was down. I always come down and have a drink of wine on a Friday after I finished work. So I've got some uh, video footage that I took of the thunderstorm yesterday, so I'll put that in this video for you to see. It was quite refreshing. It was heavy rain um, and the thunder seemed to be constant. It's nice, it's nice when it thunders down at the allotment. So yeah, I'll show you a bit of that. So today and tomorrow, it's gonna to be weather permitting in terms of what I'm gonna be doing. I want to, it's a bit early, probably a week or two early to dig up my first early potatoes. I've got some red jukes that I wanna pull up. I don't think they did particularly well because we had some frost in May, which um, caused a little bit of damage to them and I just don't think they recovered properly since. I have dug up some because I'm impatient and they were, they were actually not very big, probably this big, golf ball size, but really tasty. So I'm gonna maybe dig all them up. Not just because I'm impatient and I wanna eat them, but also because that I need the room because I've got so many kind of squash, courgette, pumpkin type plants that are desperately in need to go out somewhere. I'm going to show you an experiment that I've done this year with one of my pumpkins. I've just, because of the lack of space, I've just literally lobbed it in my compost bin. Um, so I'll show you that as well. I may not do a full tour today only because nothing really has changed from last weekend. There has been some growth. Everything's really green and lovely because we've had lots of sunshine this week and rain. It's getting quite blustery now. It might start raining. Um, so yeah, my elderflower is doing really well. My elderflower champagne. So I've had no more explosive incidents, thank goodness. Although I'm still really nervous when I'm burping the bottles, when I'm flipping it, off, flipping off the lid, letting out a little bit of air, and it just goes pop, and I'm all my strength pushing down the um, the lid to try and keep it from going everywhere. Because the last thing I want is to waste it. But yeah, it's doing really well. I should have prepared this earlier, and I didn't. So just bear with me a second. So this is the stuff that we've done down here. I say we, me and Keith. Um, yeah. It's got a little bit of residue on top, but yeah, it's gonna be okay. And we have bottled some as well that Keith's done at home. So I've got all this, as well as the, I did two lots at home. So I've done quite a bit, so clearly it's very nice. Otherwise I wouldn't spend all my time making it. Um, and I have got some in the freezer, some elderflowers in the freezer for when Christmas comes around. Um, so yeah, so I'll be making some more. And the cordial was a big hit with my son as well. Um, and me, it's nice and Prosecco. Um, so yeah, and I bottled my first red berry wine today, courtesy of the lovely um, Erica's Little Welsh Garden. So I bottled that and it looks really nice. It looks like it's really come on. So I might have a taste later and the rest of it obviously I'm just going to bottle and let mature for a bit. And I've got another Demijohn full of that um, kind of fermenting. 
I've took some rhubarb and I'm going to make some rhubarb wine. That's going to be a bit of an experiment. I'm going to add some lemon and ginger to that and just see what it's like. Um, so yeah, keep you posted on that one. But I'm really enjoying the wine making. It's quite exciting. When I was bottling the red berry wine this morning, I was just really delighted with it. Sad, I know. Uh, but yeah, I quite like the wine making, so I'm going to keep it off, I think. It's, it's a really good thing to do. It saves me money as well. So yeah. So, the only other thing I think I'm going to do today is plant out a bit more because I watched Gardener's World from a couple of weeks ago and they advised that you could do something called three sister planting, which is planting your sweet corn, which I've already planted out, but you can put some ground plants on, so like pumpkin and courgette, so they're the three sisters, the courgette, the pumpkin, squash, um, in fact I think it was squash, so the sweet corn, squash and courgette, so I'm going to plant some of the courgette and squash in that bed I think because I've just got so many I need to give some away which I will do so yeah I'm gonna do that um, and the other thing I've got quite a lot of young saplings growing on my plot because I'm, I'm where my plot is is adjacent to woodland so I get a lot of kind of seeds floating in so instead of just ripping up the young tree plants I'm going to do some gorilla gardening because I think trees are really important. So I'm going to plant them in random places on my walk home and to the allotment. I might put a little bit of footage in as well because I've taken like a time lapse of my journey from home to the allotment. So I'm going to put this on this video as well. It's quite an interesting one. Um, obviously it's speeded up but you can kind of get a an idea of how far it is from my home it's not far at all it takes me about 15 20 minutes to walk which is nothing really well it's nothing when the weather's nice so yeah so i'm going to do some gorilla gardening i'm going to plant some of the tree saplings so here i've got i've got a horse chestnut that's come up in my rhubarb i have a oak that's come up in my lavender pot i'm looking over there because that's where it is and I think this is birch. I'm not too sure. Looks like a birch. So, birch is one of my favourite trees, along with the willow, weeping willow. But I love the birch tree. I like hugging a birch tree only because try it only because the bark is really soft and smooth, and the older the trees, the the trunk is just huggable. It's massive. And there are quite a few around here. So yeah, I'm going to find a home for this lovely birch tree on my way home, I think, today. And, um, and then watch it grow over the years. So yeah, so that's about it, really. Hopefully it doesn't thunder too much. To be honest, I don't mind the thunder or the rain. It means I don't have to water because watering takes forever. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video today. And I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye. So this was just a bit of an experiment really. Welcome to my compost area, which, um, yeah, lots of kind of compost bins and I was gonna call it junk, it's not junk because it will be used, hopefully for me hang, coop and run. Um, yeah, and look at all those blackberries that are just growing wild behind me. There's gonna be so many blackberries this year, look at them all. Um, and I love blackberries and obviously making wine and, and jam as well. I'm going to make some blackberry and apple jam. And the blackberry run right the way along the um, fence of my plot. 
which is accessible through the back gate. So I'm going to have so many blackberries and I'm going to do so many things with them this year. I usually just put them in smoothies and eat them as like fruit, but this year I'm going to make lots of things with them just because I've got access to so many. Amazing. Anyway, that's not why I brought you to the compost area. So my compost, obviously I only took the plot on last year. So there, I did have some compost that was already composted, which I've used this year to plant out. I think I've um, helped mulch the beds with the compost that was already here. So this compost bin here, straight ahead of me, is the one that I put my waste at home in from last year. So it was started last year. So it was all my vegetable peelings, fruit, basically any kinds of organic matter at home that I didn't need went in here. Then I think I stopped putting stuff in that one. I think it was just after Christmas, maybe January time, December or January, I just stopped and started using this one. Um, so yes, yeah, so this one, get ready for the flies. Yeah, I'm a bit of a um, geek when it comes to compost, I love it. So yeah, as you can see, there's lots of fruit flies in there, having a good munch, there'll be loads of worms too. So yeah, I try and mix it up a bit. I, I put paper in there, as well as leaves, as well as um, like trimmings off, raspberry canes, all kinds of bits and bobs, just get thrown in there. And then it works its way down. I'll stop using this one again, probably December, January time. I'll let it do its thing. So, my experiment was to have a go at putting a pumpkin in here, um, and as you can see, it's very happy. It's clearly nutrient rich, so feeding it well, I don't know whether you can make it out. It's not fully broken down, um, but yeah, it's getting there, isn't it? Oh, look at that. So I'll be able to use that in probably maybe 12 months time, maybe a bit less. Um, as compost so yeah but look how happy that pumpkin is so that's what I'm gonna do going forward and, yeah I've done the same at home and I've got a compost bin at home so I've put a, com um, a pumpkin in me one at home they just love it look love it fantastic so yeah I'm, I'm using a couple of the other compost bins as well but I try and rotate them just so that I've got a constant supply of compost and obviously my friend give me this my friend from work Another compost bin. Oh no, oh no she didn't. That was the one my friend gave me. That's just another one. Quite fortunate to have so many compost bins. I need to work on this area clearly. This is my dumping ground. Um, this is all my horse manure. Which I'm kind of wanting to break down a bit before I use it. I might use it in the winter. So yeah. Fabulous.
Nice rain, eh, Boo? And the thunder. Okay, you might not want to in this. So another successful day at the allotment. I've managed to keep it dry. It's still warm. Um, but yeah, it's got to that time where I need to go home and make tea and eat. Uh, and we've got a quiz tonight, so a Zoom quiz. So I need to be make sure I'm home and changed and fed and etc. before that starts. So I decided with the potatoes, because some of the plants actually didn't look too bad, um, I've just pulled up the ones that looked quite sad and just enough potatoes for the Sunday roast tomorrow for roast potatoes. So I just took them out, I've not taken all the red jukes yet. I think I'm going to give the, the stronger plants uh, a few more, maybe a couple more weeks and then we'll uh, pull them up. Yeah, but I think I got enough for me roast. There's some pretty fur sized ones, really. Oh, nice. I know, sniffing mud. I love the smell of soil. I'm weird, I know. Um, so yeah, I think the point is that I just keep kind of harvesting what I need as opposed to pulling them all from the ground and then wondering what on earth I'm going to do with hundreds of potatoes which is going to happen because I have planted quite a lot I've still got some sea potatoes at home not loads but I think I'm going to uh, definitely plant them out so I'm distracted by the robin who's come down who I'm sorry I know I've not put the seed out yet have I I know don't look at me like that I usually put the seed down as soon as I'm here and he's looking at me like, like I'm mean. So yeah, I better go put some seed down uh, before the robin falls out with me. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe. I hope you're all safe and well. Hope you all had a fabulous weekend and hope you have a great week too. And I shall see you soon. Thanks, bye.